Welcome back and in today's video I'll be guiding you through the process on how you can add a Samsung account to your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. So start by opening settings and then at the top you should see the option sign in to your Galaxy. You want to tap on it then from here you have different ways you can sign in to your Samsung account. If you have a Google account already added onto your phone you can sign in with Google you can sign in with your phone number or email address. You can sign in with a QR code. Or if you don't have an account already created, you can just tap on forgot password or don't have an account and then select create account. So it's up to you to decide how you want to sign in. For this video, I'll be using sign in with Google. So I'll tap on sign in with Google and then I'll select my Google account. If I have more than one added, then from here just wait for it to load so now once you've signed in with google or you've logged in with your email address and its uh, password then you'll need to agree to the terms and conditions the special terms as well as the samsung account privacy notice you also have two options uh, two options that you can also agree to if you'd like such as the customization service and offline finding you can always come and enable them at a later time if you don't want to turn them on right now. Then once you've agreed with those terms of service, you want to tap on agree and then you need to confirm with two-step verification. So if you don't want to use the two-step verification, then you have all other options you can choose from. So you can choose to get an email address or something similar. So for example, if I want to skip this two-step verification, I'll tap on didn't get the verification code and then I can choose to send the code again, use another number, verify with backup code. And so you have those different options. So let me tap use another number. So it will verify with my phone number and then wait for the code to be sent to my phone. So once you've tapped on send code and the code has been sent to your phone, you can now type it in and then tap on verify and wait for you to be logged into your Samsung account. So once you're logged into your account, you should see your profile info. So your email address, your devices, places, payment methods, security and privacy, and any apps and features that you get when you sign in to your Samsung account. So this includes Samsung Cloud, Galaxy AI, Galaxy Sharing, Samsung Find, and all sorts of options. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, Leave them down below and we'll get back to you.